Ever wondered why more and more couples are choosing to live together before tying the knot? The trend of live-in relationships is on the rise, and it's not hard to see why. This modern approach gives couples a chance to test the waters before committing to marriage. But what are the implications? In this video, we'll delve into the pros and cons of live-in relationships through a hypothetical couple's journey. So, do live-in relationships challenge societal norms or simply reflect the changing society? Let's find out. Meet Rohit and Priya, a young couple who've decided to live together. They're not alone in this choice. It's a rising trend among young adults in India. This decision, while exciting, is also a big step, and it's one they've not taken lightly. They see it as a chance to truly get to know each other to test their compatibility before considering marriage. You see, living together is like a real-time compatibility test. It's a lot more than just sharing a cup of coffee every morning or watching a movie on weekends. It's about sharing a life, their lives, day in, day out. It's about experiencing the good, the bad, and the ugly of each other, and still choosing to stay every single day. Rohit and Priya, like many couples, believe that living together would give them a chance to understand each other's habits, likes, dislikes, and quirks. It's like a sneak peek into what their life would be like if they choose to tie the knot. Would Rohit's habit of leaving wet towels on the bed drive Priya nuts? Would Priya's love for spicy food clash with Rohit's mild palate? These are questions that only living together can answer. But it's not just about the small stuff, it's also about understanding each other's values, dreams, and ambitions. How do they handle stress? How do they celebrate joy? How do they react when things don't go as planned? These are insights that could help them decide if they truly are a match for the long haul. Living together also allows them to see if they can work as a team. From splitting household chores to deciding on financial matters, they would need to navigate these practical aspects of sharing a life together. In essence, living together is like a dry run for marriage. It's a chance to understand if they can coexist harmoniously, to see if their love can withstand the daily realities of life. As Rohit and Priya soon find out, living together can reveal a lot about each other. It's a journey of discovery, of understanding, and of growth. It's a journey that can strengthen their bond or show them that they might be better off apart. Either way, it's a journey well worth taking. Living together isn't just about shared meals and movie nights. It comes with responsibilities. Just like the two sides of a coin, a live-in relationship also has its unique set of responsibilities that come along with the freedom it offers. This setup offers a realistic view of what it's like to share a life together, just like in a marriage. Imagine Rohit and Priya, a young couple who have decided to move in together. Rohit, who loves his morning cup of coffee, now finds himself brewing two cups instead of one. Priya, on the other hand, who's always been a bit of a neat freak, now has to deal with Rohit's habit of leaving his socks around the house. But it's not just about the small things, they also have to manage their finances together, decide who pays for what, and even navigate the tricky waters of having joint bank accounts. But it's not all about the challenges. There's a silver lining too. These responsibilities can bring the couple closer, fostering a sense of teamwork and mutual respect. It's about learning to compromise, to adjust, and to accommodate for the other person's needs and habits. It's about understanding that love isn't just about the butterflies in your stomach, but also about the mundane, everyday tasks that you do for each other. This sense of shared responsibility can be an excellent compatibility test for marriage. It allows the couple to understand each other's habits, preferences, and lifestyle choices. They get to see each other in their most authentic selves without any pretenses. It's a practical way to gauge if their relationship can withstand the test of time and the pressures of living together. In a nutshell, a live-in relationship is a real-world rehearsal for a lifelong commitment. It's a journey filled with shared joys, mutual respect, and even occasional squabbles. But through it all, it's a valuable learning experience that prepares them for the responsibilities that come with marital life. As they navigate shared chores and finances, Rohit and Priya are getting a glimpse of marital responsibilities. While living together might offer a break from societal pressures of marriage, it brings its own set of challenges. Now, let's delve into the darker side of live-in relationships. The societal disapproval and mental distress and the complexities surrounding the status of children born out of such unions. 
In a society where marriage is deemed an unshakable institution, couples like Rohit and Priya, who choose to cohabit without the bonds of matrimony, often find themselves at the receiving end of disapproving glances and hushed whispers. This societal disapproval can take a toll on their mental health. It's like a constant background noise, a persistent reminder of their divergence from the norm. This can lead to feelings of isolation, anxiety, and depression. It's a heavy burden to bear to constantly justify your choices, especially when those choices concern your personal life. The mental distress doesn't end there. It extends to the complex issue of children born out of live-in relationships. While these children are innocent bystanders, they often get caught in the crossfire of societal norms and legalities. In India, the law has made provisions to protect the rights of such children, uh, yet the societal stigma attached to their birth can make their lives complicated. These children might find themselves subject to unfair treatment and discrimination. They may face questions about their parents' marital status, about their legitimacy. These experiences can be deeply distressing for them and for their parents who must help them navigate these choppy waters. It's a harsh reality that many couples in live-in relationships have to grapple with. So, while live-in relationships can indeed be a means of escaping the societal pressures associated with marriage, they come with their own unique set of challenges, from dealing with societal disapproval and consequent mental distress, to handling the complexities surrounding the status of their children, couples in live-in relationships often find themselves walking a tightrope. Despite the freedom it offers, societal disapproval and complexities can weigh heavily on couples like Rohit and Priya. So before you decide to take the plunge, it's crucial to weigh the pros against the cons, and to brace yourself for the challenges that lie ahead. Commitment in a relationship isn't just about saying, I do, but does a live-in relationship offer the same level of commitment? Let's delve into this question. In a live-in relationship, the binding of vows is absent. The legal obligation to stay together as seen in a marriage is not present. This might lead to a potential lack of commitment. The absence of legal ties means either party can walk away at any time. This can sometimes create instability and insecurity, but commitment is more than just a signed document. It's about dedication, loyalty, and mutual respect. Now let's shift gears and talk about the legal recognition of live-in relationships in India. The Supreme Court of India has given legal recognition to live-in relationships. They are categorized as domestic relationships protected under the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act of 2005. This means that women in live-in relationships have the same legal protections as married women when it comes to domestic violence. The court has held that a live-in relationship comes within the ambit of the right to life under Article 21 of the Constitution of India. The right to life encompasses the right to live with dignity, which includes the right to choose your partner and the manner in which you want to live. In the landmark case of S. Kushbu v. Kanyamal, the Supreme Court gave legal recognition to live-in relationships. The court stated that consensual sex between a couple in a live-in relationship could not be categorized as rape if the man failed to keep his promise of marriage. However, it's important to note that while live-in relationships are legal, they are often seen as immoral from a societal perspective. This societal disapproval can cause distress and strain on the relationship. It's a complex issue with legal recognition on one side and societal acceptance on the other. While the law recognizes live-in relationships, the societal acceptance is still a gray area. So what does our journey with Rohit and Priya tell us about live-in relationships? Well, first and foremost, live-in relationships can serve as a compatibility test before marriage. They allow couples to understand each other better, giving them a chance to experience the nuances of shared living and the responsibilities that come with it. This can provide a solid foundation for a future marriage. However, it's not all rosy. Living together before marriage can also lead to major mental distress, primarily due to societal disapproval. The stigma attached to such relationships can often create a sense of insecurity and fear. The status of children born out of these relationships can also be complex, leading to potential legal and emotional issues. Moreover, there could be a lack of commitment, as the relationship is not legally bound like a marriage. This can lead to an unstable environment, causing further distress to the couple. But let's not forget the legal angle. The Supreme Court of India has recognized live-in relationships as domestic relationships, protected under the Protection of Women from Domestic Violence Act 2005. 
This recognition brings live-in relationships within the ambit of the right to life under Article 21 of the Constitution of India. In conclusion, while live-in relationships come with their own set of challenges, they also offer unique opportunities for couples to grow and understand each other better. As society evolves, so do its norms. And perhaps so should our understanding of relationships. After all, isn't love about finding your own path?